Let's get into the unboxing part. So this unit is from Tanashi here, as y'all can see. It comes in this cute little box that has information right on it as soon as you open it, as well as a card that basically tells you about the unit, their company, policies, probably care instructions. And in the back of the card, it also gives you their social media handles. Okay, just in case you want to contact them. So let's get into this bob. As you can see, it is highlighted with 1B slash 30. It is straight. It is a 13 by 4 lace front and it's 14 inches as well as 150% density. Okay, so let me just show you the hair it looks so beautiful. I just wanted to show you the hairline and it did come with a middle part in it already color on this unit is so nice so here's a look at the inside of the cap um, as you can see it has four combs adjustable straps as well as an extra elastic band on the inside for more security so this wig ain't going off your head at all okay girl all right so let's unbox what's inside of the pink satin bag of goodies the first thing was a nude wig cap a black satin bonnet some foam ink lashes an elastic band an edge brush as well as yellow alligator clips okay it's time for the install so off camera i did wash the unit um and i also went back in and i tightened the adjustable straps and cut the lace off i like to do that before um put it on my head on camera just to save some time it fit perfectly so i didn't have to cut the ear tabs which was amazing so i took the tail end of my comb to create a crisp c part um, I kind of knew that's what I wanted as soon as I saw the hair. I was just like, these highlights is giving that. I took the wax stick and I added that to both sides of the part so that when I combed it, the heat would uh, work through the hair because I am using a hot comb, okay? And I wanted it to flatten out and that's exactly what it did. Um, so it, this, I, I need to get a new hot comb. It doesn't get as hot as I would like. So I took the tail end of my comb again just to create another triangle part on one side of that um, C part. And that is going to be for my baby hairs. Okay, so now you see me cutting it. Um, and I didn't cut it in a way that it would be a blunt cut because that's not what I wanted. And then I'm going in and I'm tweezing it. So I took the Even Wonder Lace Bond Wig Spray and that's what I'm going to be using to lay the wig down even though it wasn't needed so i only did one side and i blow dried it um on a cool setting then using my smallest curling iron i curled the baby hair when i was finished doing that i went in and i used a little bit of that spray I mean, I cut a little bit more off because I had some like little pieces that was a little longer. Then I kind of like molded it. I used the spray um, and then I decided to use edge control instead. And I styled the baby hair. So using an elastic band, I laid down my edges and um, baby hair so that I could focus on the rest of my hair. So it's a way to like save some time, like just tie that down and then you just do the rest of your hair because I was, I know I was going to do curls. So using my big curling iron, I basically curled my hair away from my face on both sides. Um, and again, I start with the back because it's easiest in my opinion. And um, on this side, I actually started with the front because it was just right there like <laughs> but when I got to the other side I did start from the back using a bigger curling iron is going to create a bigger wave so if you want something a little bit more tighter then use a smaller curling iron or use your flat iron 
but I just wanted some big waves so that's what I'm doing I've been really into the tousled look just effortless not too uniform okay and I'm basically doing the same exact thing to both sides of my hair on the left side and the right side everything is really repetitive so now that i'm finished curling my hair i'm just like trying to figure out how i want it and i decided to take the hot comb and kind of lay the roots down on the top for a more flatter look almost like a bang side part but not really off camera i did cut just a tiny bit off and i brushed the curls for my final look Okay, so I'm back and this is my finished look. I think it came out so freaking pretty. Like, I love this bob so much. The color with this bomber jacket is just doing it for me. Like, I love it together. This unit is from Tanache Hair. This is their 13 by four highlight short bob, but I have it in 14 inches. It's 150% density, which is perfect for this length in my opinion i think it is nice and full um it's not too full but it's like a good amount of full the highlights on this unit is a 1b slash 30 so the 1b is like the more uh the one the color that looks more black and the 30 is the brown highlights and i think it is just so gorgeous like it is so pretty and they did a very good job on the coloring the shedding on this hair is minimal i'm not experiencing any matting I'm not experiencing any snagging and I'm not experiencing any tangling as my wash routine I stuck to the regular products that I've been using as of late which is the herbal essences hello hydrations in the shampoo and the conditioner and I did not add any products to this unit whatsoever no nothing because it is already really silky I didn't have to add any oil to it so this is the outcome. I love it. I would definitely recommend this bob. I think like these companies be getting these bobs correct. Like love this bob so much. It is just so freaking pretty. I love the color. Like they did a great job. This is what I love. Like I love getting colored units from um, companies because it takes all the work out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down in the bottom bar. Definitely check out Tanasha Hair. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I will speak to my next video. Bye y'all.